and also health matters. As Nigeria celebrates significant strides in its journey to eradicating polio, health experts and advocacy groups are emphasizing the importance of sustained public health advocacy and social behavioral change to tackle root causes of preventable diseases and maintain country's polio-free status. Now, in this report, ADBN X-rays the role of sustained advocacy and behavioral change in maintaining Nigeria's achievements against polio. Nigeria's battle with poliomyelitis, also known as wild polio, has been proclaimed a huge success as there has been no recorded case of wild polio virus since 2016. The last case was recorded in Borno State, Northeast Nigeria, in 2016. World Health Organization certified Nigeria as polio-free in 2020. Polio has ended in our country in a proud dawn for all Nigerians. UNICEF confirms over 270 million doses of vaccines are administered yearly to sustain Nigeria's polio-free status. Health specialists for social behavior change highlighted need for evidence by planning with data to address polio in each community to keep up awareness on the disease. The key principle for social behavior change is really to have evidence. So we want data to guide all our planning and um, activities so that we can get the best results. And to get them on board to really also at community level to start demanding uh, the polio vaccine for the protection of all children. Uh, ultimately so that all parents would uh, automatically vaccinate their children every single campaign round so that their children are protected but also the community uh, children are protected. We cannot uh, do the same activities and the same message everywhere because every community is a little bit different and not only look at looking at different states in the north but also south is different and even within community you have smaller groups. Not all parents are the same. Younger parents may have different uh, priorities and values than, than parents that have many children already. District Governor, Rotary District 9127, Dr. Mike Ukachi Wanoshiri, emphasized the need for continuous vaccination to maintain a polio-free country. So the tendency of polio to occur in again is really because of the waterborne disease. So if we don't continue the vaccination, to go back to where we started. That's why the collaboration is very, very important. Like other organizations that are joining force with us when we started it in 1983. If not so, it might be a problem where everybody, the children, they would have collaboration from other countries and they're buying the ideas and understanding the program initiated by Rotary International. That's why we're able to control it. Remember some years back, many countries today, we are talking about two. We are hoping in the next year to be zero. District Polio Plus Committee Chairman, Dr. Mrs. Khadija Kubarat Yusuf, called for more advocacy, confirming improvement in acceptability of polio vaccine in the country. Initially, there was serious issue of rejection. But with advocacy, education, and knowledge, more parents are now encouraged to participate willingly without giving stress to the community. One accountability is going on. WHO and the field, the UNICEF, Rotarians. While continued threat of disease resurgence requires active vigilance and proactive community engagement, Polio Eradication Program of the World Health Organization Regional Office for Africa, in collaboration with Global Polio Eradication Initiative, has set in motion a comprehensive array of prevention and response strategies to sustain Nigeria's polio-free status. These encompass implementation of supplementary immunization activities while building up human workforce as well as providing technical assistance. Others include enhancing surveillance endeavors and refinement of data and information management, which notably includes utilization of cutting-edge geospatial technologies to reach every last child and make polio history 
once and for all. Peace. Organic Bowie. ADBN News.